Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. In this episode, I am going to teach you guys how to shoot an amazing high key portrait using one light. So all you gotta do is find one wall, one white wall in your house and we're good. So this is what we're doing. I have my Sony F45RM here. This is a Sony flash mounted in the mag shoe. Um, then it's wirelessly controlled using my Sony remote commander. I have my A7R Mark IV with an 85 millimeter lens. So I have my, I have my flash linked so that I can control this one wirelessly so that I don't have to go back and forth just to adjust the power. I'll put it here. What this one will do is that it will illuminate the backdrop and it's gonna bounce back. The moment it bounces back, we're gonna use this one. This is just a standard reflector and we're gonna use either the silver or the white side. I haven't decided yet on what we're gonna use. And we'll put it somewhere here or maybe we'll use the white side then. We'll use the white side. First thing that I need to do is I need to figure out whether or not I'm gonna be using the ambient light or not. In this particular case, I might actually use a bit of the ambient light just to get the high key portrait that I want, but we'll see. So we'll start off, we'll try it first. I'll turn this one off. My camera is set on manual mode. I wanna shoot wide open 1.4 at 1.4. My ISO is set at 100. The reason why I took this one out is so that I can see the live view. And then maybe I'll bring up my shutter speed and kill all ambient light. So right now, we're not getting any ambient light. So all the light that we're getting is basically lights that's bouncing off the walls. Then we start off at full power. Hopefully one F45RM will be strong enough to be able to get what I want, okay? Now we just have to wait for our model. So our lovely model Alice is here and let's see what we can do. Okay, Alice, can you stay here? Okay, let's build this up. Mark, maybe you could take this one out. So we'll take one test shot first. Alice, can you move here? No, no, you're good there, right? Just cover the flash. So we'll take one test shot without the reflector. Re take out the reflector there. And there we go. So that's how it looks like without the reflector. You see, Light is already bouncing all over, but we'll have the reflector come in now. Come in, there. All right, now, Alice, don't move, bring it up higher. Very nice. Okay, perfect. Can you give me some angles? Good, there we go. That's too high, Mark. Very nice. So, this is what we're getting. Problem is I think the flash is too weak. So we might have to bring in more ambient light. So by bringing in more ambient light, all I have to do is adjust my shutter speed. So if I adjust my shutter speed, this is now how it looks like. There, okay? But the nice thing about that, if I bring it below the flash, uh, below the flash sync speed, that means I can turn off high speed sync. If I turn off high speed sync, that should make the flash stronger. So if I do this now, we have more than enough power. So I can even put it to 250, lessen the ambient light. We have more than enough power now. Then, Maybe bring it down to one fourth and we should be good with this. There we go. Natural high key portrait. So once we've gotten the once we've gotten the the exposure dialed in, then now we play. All right, perfect. Okay, give me some poses, maybe. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice, very nice. Very nice, cool. Good, good, good. See? Alice is a professional model, so we don't really need to post her too much. Looks good in every frame. Look at that. 
Very nice. Good. Nice. Now, you know, I like that. Open it up a little bit. Yeah, go. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Very nice. One more. Um, can we try now doing one with the silver side out? Nice. Very nice. Nice. Okay, look towards your light. This is your light. Good. Very nice. Good. Good. Any white wall. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Good. I like that. Hold that pose. Good. Okay. So, obviously the guys are here. So while you're here, let's open it up. Any questions? Any concerns on how this was taken? Um, sir. Yes. Since we're using the reflector, yeah. and we use the two sides, right? The okay. other one is white. The other one's white. The other is uh, silver. Is there any uh, big difference? Well, you use the, the silver side adds a little bit more specularity, plus the fact that since it's silver, it makes the bounce a bit stronger coming from the coming from the silver side but preferably i always normally use the white side but for this particular instance the silver works better i think yes would um using the white side give a more softer image? it does it does it does the white the white side gives you more a softer a softer look but since we're shooting high key, uh -huh. you don't really see most of the shadow, so okay. it doesn't really matter. Right now, it's more about strength. Okay. And the makeup that you use had no shimmer, okay. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Mela, our makeup artist. Very so no makeup. shimmer, so we don't really need the, the specularity of the silver side. Okay. You have any questions, Alice? <laughs> How are my pictures? They look fantastic. Can we f flip back to the white side, please? So if, question. Um, Go. Hold on, release this, release this. In terms of like shimmer and stuff Yes, like use the silver. Better. Yes, use okay. the silver. It's um, because with that one, you get more shine. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, let's do a few more. Let's play around with it because this is for your set card, right? Yeah, yeah so we need more pictures, more choices. Thank you very much, Farah, for sending over Alice to us. Farah Ramos of Farah Models. Good, very nice, very nice. You're showing the flash. Be aware of the flash. Okay, cool. Who wants to try to shoot? So while Mark is shooting, you guys can see that this is such a simple setup. Again, we just use the F45 RM in the back. That's a Sony wireless flash. It just bounced off the wall. The moment it's bounced off the wall, this reflector in front is catching it, giving us this nice high key light. We drag the shutter a little bit, just a little, just to bring in our ambient light. But overall, to be honest, I don't think it really affects the image too much. We're shooting, go ahead, go ahead. We're shooting with an A7R Mark IV with an 85 millimeter 1.4 lens. This is the Sony Remote Commander. This one controls that flash in the back wirelessly. So if you guys noticed earlier, I kept on changing the power of my flash until I dialed in everything. Nice, nice. And uh, that's it, that is so simple. And this is what, you can buy this so cheaply, just a normal flash. It doesn't even have to be this type of flash because we're not even shooting in high speed sync. So you could use a, a standard trigger with a standard flash and get the same results. Look at that, beautiful, right? You like it? Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that very short tutorial on how to shoot one light, one light high key portrait. Thank you very much, Mark, for assisting. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed and until the next video. That was fun, right?